The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. We have a uniparty in America, don't we? I mean, the Republican Party, they don't care about the Constitution, even down to their own personal eligibility problem. Right. You know, they just don't seem to care. Right. Right. Well, and these and these are the things that you and I've been screaming right here on Freedom Friday for years now. And that is the the it's Congress people. You know, people get on to me, Mike, all the time. They say, you know, when is Zulu and and Arpaio going to do something? They're they're you know they're dragging their feet. They're not doing. Excuse me, Zulu and Arpaio are involved in a criminal investigation that goes all the way to the White House and beyond. That's going to take some time. We've been telling folks. Right. That's not something right. you just throw out there. This is not tabloid oh. journalism. It's a criminal investigation. But Congress, Congress, it's your congressman's fault, people, yours and mine, all of them, because none of them have done what the Constitution requires in this, Mike. They are required, according to the Constitution, to vet the qualifications of the, peop the, the, the man or woman uh, who is presented to be president and vice president. The Constitution says that. And twice Barack Obama was presented to the Electoral College as the candidate, and twice Congress refused to vet him, and the reason that's so important is because they did vet John McCain. Folks, read Senate Resolution 511. They asked John McCain for to present his birth certificate. Well, if you want, if you guys want to see a, now we're not ready to endorse any candidates right now, but if you want to see a fast track of this, of this, uh, you know, eligibility issue, look at the guy who's running number two in the polls right now, Donald Trump. Right. And Donald Trump was defended by Joe Arpaio in the headlines this week for his comments on Mexican immigrants. In fact, there's a story today that the guy who's responsible for the recent killings in San Francisco was deported something like seven times, a Mexican illegal immigrant. Right. So uh, Donald Trump, uh, Joe Arpaio have been vindicated on their comments on Mexican immigrants. It's time to put a plug in that giant gaping hole at the border. Right. And, you know, I interviewed uh, Lord Moncton uh, yesterday morning uh, out of England. Um, uh, if you don't know who Lord Moncton is, do some research. Fascinating uh, researcher on global warming, the, the leftist agenda on the gay marriage, et cetera, et cetera. And he has some very interesting things to say about Ted Cruz's eligibility. If you want to hear a, a, a truly an intellectual take on on the uh, coming presidential race, the current presidential race for the uh, Republican ticket, go to uh, youtube.com slash pp simmons, the PNN network. It's an hour and a half long interview with Lord Moncton. Fascinating right. listening. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.